Jupe Vistabu, or I guess Westbridge Christmas is how it would be in English. Season 1, Episode 1, Danny Vinayim, or Danny Returns Home. Yes, I will be speaking English throughout this video and the series that this starts, because people have conniption fits when I speak Danish in my videos, even when I'm talking about something Danish. So, yeah, there's probably going to be some stuff that really doesn't translate that well, so I'm not going to be able to talk about every single joke. Um, yes, this video will contain, the, the description, description box will contain the, the playlist for, I'm going to do a video on every single episode, and then I'm going to finish it off with a review of the entire show. I'm going to try to make sure that every single day, you know, there's there's 24 episodes. I'm going to try to do, yeah, one every day leading up to Christmas. And, yeah, I thought I would celebrate the 20-year anniversary. Holy crap. Makes me feel old. I remember when this first aired. Um, yes, so, as per usual, um, though I am aware that there's a lot of people around the world who have never watched this, I don't really do videos where I go into, like, a ton of detail... About what, you know, the, these videos are basically presuming that, other than the review itself, these videos are going to presume that you have watched the episode. Right, that is all, yes, spoilers for this first episode. And I think, right, yes, um, though I do overall love this show, this is very much one of those things, it's, it's my problematic fave. I am going to be talking about the, the really messed up stuff. I'm going to be tackling it more or less chronologically, so though this has some pretty significant racism and misogyny, I'm not going to get into that much of it here, because we haven't met those characters yet. Before I dive into details, this is a quite good uh, season opener. We get, you know, we meet three of the main characters, the regular characters, the central conflict is set up. You know, I'm not gonna, in case, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil upcoming episodes in this, but <clears throat> in general I don't intend to do so in any of these videos. The only one where I'll talk about all episodes, maybe, is the, the final one, the 24th one. But, the the, yeah, this is not... This is not the only episode where the, the, um, what's it called? The, the hot dog stand is, uh, you know, an, an issue. And, yeah, um, yes, that is it for the, for the overview. So, yes, we, we open with the, the framing device of, the scientist, you know, at some unspecified point in the future, at least so far, unspecified point, you know, talking about the past and people's conception of time. And, yeah, it's it's a very clever framing device, you know, and, and allows Honest Madison to play yet another role. You know, I, I feel like there was, like, a dare or bet involved in seeing just how many different roles he could play in this one thing. And it's always bugged me. He holds up the, the I think they're called rabbit ears, you know, the, the, the t uh, TV thing. But he's got it, like, down in, in here, and then it cuts, and it's, like, center frame... And like and uh, like and taking up a lot of the picture, and it's like you got so close to doing a match cut, right? Like it it looked you you got so close. It's frustrating that, that they don't quite completely nail it. And yeah, um, so yeah, this joke is not gonna translate at all. But very early in the episode, Stewart says, uh, you know, we'll have we'll be as well off as Soren's dad, and he has money, and that's, I, I always, I forget if it's like, I think it's a song, but it's like, I, 
you you have to go pretty far back. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it's it's a children's song. It's really not older than that. That says 1998. I thought it was way older than that. Um, okay, it's. There's got to be some. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, 1945. You know, so, like, that's something. That Honest Medicine is from 1975. That's got to be something, like, his dad told him about when he was a kid or something. But, yeah, there's a bunch of references like that throughout the entire run. And. Let's see. Right, also. Uh, Strong introduction to all three of the regular. Well, do we want to say four? I guess technically. Um, I can't believe I'm blanking on the name. Um, Vivian. Vivian. Um, I guess we can't really consider her a character, can we? Because she's got like. There's not that. Yeah. But the, the, yeah, the three actual characters that we meet in this episode, Stuart, Danny, Anna, all three, we get like a defining moment. You know, Stuart, the first thing we see is he hears about terrorism, and the thing he notices is, this is going to make me money. That pretty, you know, that's how tone deaf he is. Uh, let's see, then we, yeah, right before we meet Danny... We meet, we, uh, and to be clear, I am aware that several of these characters did exist before this. But yeah, the, the actually, yeah, I guess, all th let's see. I believe Anna was introduced, that's got to be like, uh, um, Turkle in Trouble, I guess is how you'd say it in, in English. Which I feel like, isn't that from like 2002? Any, anyway, uh, yeah. Right before we meet Danny, we meet Anna, and, like, at the, you know, I don't even, ah, ADHD diagnosis is acting up again, but yeah. Uh, Stewart says something very insulting to him, and he just, like, he, he clearly, he's aware that he's just been insulted, but he's not, like, getting... You know, he's he's not, like, getting aggressive. You know, if the roles were reversed, if if Anna intentionally insulted Stuart, Stuart would throw, start throwing fists, you know. And I know it's, it's so bad, but I do... Yeah, so he says... Yeah, this will translate nicely. You know, he, he's... There's the thing about, yeah, you know, it's, didn't Danny tell you about me? Not unless your name is Nicolina and you give one hell of a blowjob. And Anna, like, there's like a second or two, and then he's like, well, my name's not Nicolina. <laughs> oh, it's such a messed up joke, but it just, it always cracks me up. For, for 20 years, it's, every time I hear that joke cracks me up. Uh, right, yeah, the, the first thing, so, so yeah, this is right after we meet Danny. Danny, like, immediately, you know, he's like, Hi, Dad, great to be back. Do you have money? You know, can I borrow some money? And, you know, as, yeah, as soon as he's in the door, he starts, like, I mean, Honest as weed, it, is that weed? It looks more like, um, let's see, because he's got, like, yeah, I, I don't think I don't think it's just weed. I think it's it's like more of um holy crap, what what's the English term for that? Um ha hard drugs is the direct translation. Uh yeah. It's you know, I don't know, like heroin or something, you know, that's a but yeah, you know, and he's like no it's not weed. It's not weed, it's uh cam chamomile. Got a got a bronchial thing. And Arnie's like, oh, checks out, you know, 
You know him. You know who this guy is. You know that he, like, he can't stay away from drugs for two seconds, as has just been demonstrated, and you're going to take <laughs> his word for it, which, you know, yeah, it's it's that kind of, you know, some s criticism of the, the kind of social worker who is too trusting and essentially, like, obviously Danny does need help, but Anna's way too, like, for, for, not forgiving, but, like, he's, yeah, too laissez-faire. You know, he's very much like, if if I just take my hands off it, he's, you know, he's an adult, he's going to be fine, and, you know, Honest Madison and the others are very clearly saying, no, he's not. you got to, like, you got to be more d d direct here. Um, let's see, and then we have the... Um, uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, Danny goes to, to talk to his mom, and we have the first of many of, you know, I forget if it's always Stuart, but Stuart, you know, says a thing and then breaks it down and, and gradually ends up saying something else entirely, because the thing he said at first was like this romanticized, but, you know, ah, look at that, you know, yeah, I I don't think there's any way to translate it into English, but yeah, um, and yeah, and and then you get you get the the uh, he says you know ah oh, you know my my dad, and we get the flashback. I can't put into words how much I love that baby Stuart Stardust. You know he's like five. He's already got the the whole sailor's outfit like he i guess he just came out of the womb wearing that apparently you know because it, it, like you don't get the sense from his father that he was like my son is definitely going to be a sailor when he grows up that really it doesn't strike from from the you know so but but yeah um and yeah stewart's father you know had some some words of wisdom and then physically abused him, which really messed up that that's played for laughs, but I am going to hell because I laugh at it. And let's see. Yeah, and then they do a joke, and this is again, this doesn't really translate into English, but you know, basically says, look, where were we? And each time they're they're going off in a, yeah, it, it felt like a, a British comedy. It, like, you know, you could see something like that on, on like, Blackadder, l verbal comedy. And, yeah, and then he goes for the... Do, uh, do you even... Do, do you all have that in English? Uh, uh, see, we call it pocket calendar, which translates directly to... Pa package calendar? Uh, no, wait, I guess... Yeah, yeah, something like that. I'm not even sure... Um, let's see, in English, um, oh, right, right, Advent, Advent calendar, I guess that's what y'all know that, um, hold on, that is an Advent calendar, so the, okay, um, I, I'm not entirely sure if it actually is used in America. I yeah, there are. It yeah, it looks like it's just a, a purely European thing. It's it's wild. Like I I if I as a child had like gone to America for one year for Christmas, and I was told, oh, we don't do advent calendars like. I my my brain would have exploded. Like just anyway, yes. So the uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't translate at all. Anyway, in Denmark and in, uh, I guess other places in Europe, you know, we have advent calendar where every day you'll you'll open a thing on the calendar corresponding to the that specific day of December, and you know there some sometimes it's just like a little 
you know, a picture or something, but it just, yeah, it's something, it's, it's something that kids would get excited for. And Stuart, because he is Stuart, his advent calendar is, is beer. He, he hung a bunch of beers on the, on the kitchen wall. And then we get the, the episode's song, which is excellent. It's, it's not the best, but it's, it's, Solid, you know. I I don't think there are any bad songs in the entire advent calendar. Um, the only thing that really bugs me is like he's like you know using his his fingernails on this on this thing. It just it doesn't completely look like that's actually where like we can tell that's not where the sound. It's it's too there's too like much to it. There's you know, clearly someone is actually playing in it. You know, um, yeah, P playing a a more uh, playing an instrument that isn't that thing. It's it's too bad because usually they they do well on this show when there's a song to make it seem like no, it's it's you know that you can see where the you know the person playing the instrument, and I do think it's convincing on it playing the uh, the bass. And yeah, turns out that the engine is missing, and <laughs> Stewart really like makes it completely ah makes it completely explicit, like you know. I have been robbed. You know, he's he's playing to the the back of the room, just and and yeah, you know, Anna, though he is very gentle and and you know patient, that's pretty serious. You know, it's very important that Danny has a care a caregiver caretaker, and you know, this sounds like that's you know gonna be an issue. So. Yeah, um, and we get the first of the, uh, let's see, the, the, like, the, the lights dim, and we get the, the speaker voice, and I just love the fact, like, right, that's a, uh, throughout this episode, and this entire run, there are tropes from other advent calendars but they, like, play around with them. You know, this is very much one of those things where, you know what, actually, hold on, one second. This is one of those things where the the Julekalender by Die Nattergale walked so that you Vesterbrook could run. And that's not to say anything negative, but like, I love that, you know, this actually, this isn't even, this is, this is the, the soundtrack and a, and a game, you know, because I love that calendar so much. That one I, I also watched year after year. But yeah, that one started down this path of, you know, let's have some fun. You know, there's a, there's a line in it when one of the, Elves says, you know, is like, you know, uh, give give me a minute. And one of the others is like, what are you doing? You know, this kind of playing dumb. And then he turns around and said, have you ever seen an elf urinate in a Christmas calendar? And you know, then he gets peace to go off and pee. And, you know, yeah, this show goes much further with that. And, yeah, the speaker voice yeah, a lot of these advent calendars will end with this kind of summary, you know. Yeah, if you watch American television, well, I guess they yeah they don't really do it at the end of an episode, but you know, think of it as a reverse previously on. You know, it's it's getting you up to speed about this is the most important thing to to think for next episode, and you know, it's you don't really need a previously on when there's an episode every single day so I actually don't even remember if they have previously ons on this show because this yeah I haven't watched it in 
Actually, I think I the last time I watched it was like six months ago, but yeah, very weird choice of time to watch it. But I felt like watching it. But but yeah, you know, the, here the the speaker is like, you know, the characters can actually hear it, and they're like, what what is that? And the speaker's like, don't don't interrupt. And I think that does a good job of covering everything this episode. So, yeah. Um, I, I'm going to do what I can to make sure that the very next episode I cover tomorrow, the 2nd of December. Um, I'm very grateful to anyone who's watched this far. I feel very bad for those of my regular you know regular viewers subscribers and such who don't know this show and have no idea what this entire video because yeah um it's going to it's going to be a bunch of these um yeah 23 more talking about individual episodes and then the review yeah um what can I say? I just, I, I care about this show. I love a lot of things. There are certain things that I really take issue with. And honestly, like half a year ago or, or more, I, I was thinking I would just do one, ep one video where I talk about each episode in that one video like I used to do. But there's just, I have so much to say about. So, so yeah. Um, yes. That is it for this one, and I will, I am going to try to also do other things, and I definitely will do at least some other videos on the, on the channel. I, I will still be doing a weekly movie, but yeah. Um, yes. Uh, right, yes, just one more thing. Ah. Uh, Sound like Columbo. The theme song for the show has verses. I don't know why they felt the need to just play the chorus over and over and over for the intro to the to the show. That really feels like just hugely excessive. I, I wish that they had changed up just a little bit. That's actually, yeah, also about the intro. I don't mind that the intro shows characters that we haven't met yet, but I do mind that several of them, there's at least one clip that shows them from an episode much later in the run where they're doing something that actually kind of reveals, you know, where, yeah, reveals something significant about their character. That I really think was of a big mistake. Like, I, I get it. Those are some of the most fun, but there's also some great stuff from early episodes. So, yeah, that's really always, always bothered me. But, yeah. Hope you'll watch on tomorrow. And honestly, if you watch this entire thing, you haven't watched this show, you have no idea about. If you, like, it could be a fun game if you're just gonna, like, try to guess what on earth I'm even talking about based on the things I say in this video. That, yeah, that could, that could be a, a fun game.